Hey guys, um, quick update on the 883 uh, Sportster with the 1275 kit. Um, honestly, haven't done a whole lot with this for a little while. Um, what I'm going to do today is get the bike out here. I've still got to re or bleed the uh, rear master cylinder here. Um, got the brake fluid for that, so I'm going to pull it out. Uh, see if I can get that blood and back working. Um, get some fuel in it. Uh, actually, last time I took it out, I ran out of gas. Uh, luckily, I didn't get too far from the house and was able to... Uh, coast it back and, and didn't have to push it so uh, get some fuel in it get the rear master cylinder uh, bled and then hopefully I'm gonna try um, to kind of do a little video of taking it down the road um, just kind of out riding it a little bit so we'll see how that goes um, got to work with with the camera and whatnot and I don't know how the sound or the audio and whatnot's gonna be with that but uh, we'll see how it how it all plays out um, I think I might have like 20 miles maybe let's see no 15.4 so Still got a ways to go. I'm um, trying to get to 50, and then um, then there's 500 on top of that. So if I can get it to 50, and then we can the other miles we can put on it. You can open it up a little more. I can't remember. It's like 4,000 RPMs or something you can get it up to. But um, not sure in the last video. Uh, when I get it pulled out here, I'll, I'll go over after I get the brakes kind of blood. I may even uh, show that process. We'll see. But uh, but I'll kind of go over too. I, I don't remember if I've shown with the uh, forward forward controls um, that he got off Amazon. They're actually they were they're not bad quality. Uh, they they were kind of a pain in the butt to install. Uh, there was really no no directions and getting the brackets and whatnot in the right places and what uh, was was just kind of a pain. But um, went on. They're really not that bad of quality. They seem pretty decent. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll get some stuff moved out of the way here. And um, all right, guys, um, got everything moved out of the way. So basically, um, this takes dot five brake blood. Um, let me actually read it on the top of the master cylinder here. Um, so, quarter inch screws that hold the top on. I've already loosened these up a little bit, but not too bad. So, pop these off. Um, yeah, just be careful not to get brake fluid all over everything. Um, it's pretty uh, corrosive, so go ahead and set that down here out of the way. Um, see, it's it is empty, which I um, knew pulling it apart. So basically, on this side, you've got your bleeder here. Um, loosen this up. Put brake fluid over there. Pump the brakes, keep a vacuum on it. Here, so basically pump this. Builds up a vacuum. And as you press on the brake on the other side, it'll push fluid through um, until you bleed all the lines and it's full on the other side. Kind of the process. Um, I'm gonna try to video this. We'll see how this works. But it may, it may take two people, we'll see. Let me get some fluid. Um, again, uh, dot five, brake fluid. What goes in there? Brand new. I always use brand new bottle. And again, we won't use very much, but I'll go ahead and start to pour it in here. So, kind of keep an eye on that um, as you're pumping because if it gets below and it starts to run out, then you're wasting your time. So, 
basically, like I said, you're gonna bleed it here. Keep that on. Um, the vacuum on it, which is what I'm doing here. Well, attempting to do again. I may have to have two people, so we'll see how this goes here. Again, keeping an eye over here to make sure I don't run out of fluid. So I'm not sure how far I got with that video. Um, it did take two hands. It was hard to prime it and hold it down and then tight, tighten up the uh, bleed screw. But again, tighten up the bleed screw is just this one here. Um, tighten that back down once you get all the air and get the uh, fresh fluid through it also. Um, got everything working, brakes work, really not that difficult to do. Again, doesn't take a whole lot of brake fluid to do it, so uh, brakes are working now. And yeah, uh, next step I'm gonna go get some fuel, uh, put some gas in it and fire it up and hopefully take her down the road. All right guys, gonna uh, finish this video up. Um, really, really wanted to do a ride uh, video I guess on the bike um, video that I made sucked uh, there's just too much vibration in the handlebars and whether I'm using a GoPro or my phone um, with a handlebar mount it's just it, the video quality is terrible uh, not to mention the audio is not the greatest you get a lot of wind noise which isn't the biggest thing I could cut that out but um, just the video is just shaking the whole time so um, working on something I honestly what I need to get is a helmet um, I have a mount for, for a helmet, but I don't typically wear one, so something I'll, I'll be looking at getting just so I can, I can get some ride video, because um, I really want to do a comparison uh, with this bike and the 1200. Uh, just my, just the gut feeling riding the bike right now, uh, not, not really being able to get on it, uh, I, I think I got 52 miles or something like that um, currently on the bike. Yep, 52 exactly. So, uh, got it over the 50 mile mark now. Uh, now it's time to start the uh, 500. So, that'll finish up the break in. Um, but, just my first impressions uh, the, the bike feels like it's got more power than my 1200. Um, really, you start to kind of open it up a little bit, you can feel that the power is there. So, we'll um, we'll see when I get them get them side by side and. We take them out and, and ride them and see what we got. But I wanted to go over a few things on the bike, uh, parts-wise. Uh, the foot pegs are off of Amazon. Uh, there's some cheaper ones that were, were on Amazon. Actually, now that they're on the bike, they're really, really not bad um, forward controls. Um, see, I'm putting out there. The only, my only complaint uh, would be, I wish this one was out just a little further on this side, um, just the way it's set up. I really don't notice it on the bike, but um, when you are currently the way these pipes are set up, uh, they do get a little hot. So, gonna have to wrap or do something with these pipes, uh, whether he put a wrap on it or he puts a heat shield. Not sure which way he'll go, but um, that's probably my one of my only complaints. Is it, it would have been cool if it was out just a touch further, but uh, it's not bad, Re honestly, on the bike. They feel really good. It's more just the placement of the pipes, but uh, nothing we can't can't take care of. Uh, the air filter so far, I know just stuff I've looked up on this filter, issues with them coming apart, but so far it seems to be working great. Um, trying to think what else breaks, where I bled those are working awesome. Everything seems to work. Uh, this seat, uh, 
came on the bike, but in my opinion, the seat sucks. It's terrible. You kind of slide back up onto here, so you, your butt's basically riding there. And it's it's hard. Um, so in my opinion, good looking seat. I've seen them on other bikes new, uh, and awesome looking seat, but not very comfortable at all. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, the other thing that we did put on this bike too is the LED headlight, and go ahead and flip it on. Compared to the stock, uh, it's it, it's a lot brighter. Really, really good headlight, in my opinion. But that's dim, bright. Oh, well, that's picking that up. But yeah, uh, the only thing I think we changed to make the same headlight with the turn signal the indicators. Uh, built into the sides that that probably the only, the only thing I'm I'm actually looking at the same headlight for my bike uh, just I'm most likely gonna put the turn signals or the indicating bulb in it so uh, other than that a uh, bike runs awesome uh, really runs good feels really good uh, the one thing that I've got left on this bike that that I'm definitely gonna do is put the tires I'll try to get a video on that um, the new tires are over there so that'll probably be sometime this week. I'm gonna to try to get the front wheel pulled off, get that tire done, get the back one off. It's more just doing it, um, getting it done. But yeah, other other than that, um, that's probably gonna be about it with this. And then, like I said, I'm gonna do some ride ride videos with the two of them. But um, and then I'm sure he's got some other stuff. I think coming up maybe next year or so with the seat bars some some different stuff so may try to try to get it back on the channel but uh, we'll see how that all goes but yeah I want to end it here um, again if you guys have any questions on this bike feel free to ask um, and would love it if you hit that like button and please subscribe thanks for watching